Now, let's talk about tidal energy. The energy which is generated from the tides or the movement of sea waves is known as tidal energy. This can be used to harness and building dams in narrow openings of the sea. During high tide, energy of tides is used to turn turbine which is installed there and produce electricity. Huge tidal milled farms are there in Russia, France, Gulf of Kutch in India. The first tidal energy stations were built in France. Now let's talk about biogas. The organic waste material from plants and animals such as animal dung, kitchen waste are put and they are converted into gaseous fuel which is called as biogas. As the organic waste it starts to decompose the bacteria it gives rise to a gaseous substance. This biogas is an excellent fuel for cooking and lighting and produces huge amount of organic manure each year. This can be used for harnessing energy in both difficult and it is not costly as well. Here is how a biogas plant looks. What have we learned in this chapter so far? We learned about what are the different sources of minerals. Where are minerals found all around the world? What are the different kinds of minerals and how can we conserve minerals? Then we found out about the different power resources, non-conventional and conventional resources. We saw what are the different non-conventional resources such as solar energy, wind energy, tidal energy, hydro energy and geothermal energy and biogas. So I hope you understood everything in this chapter. Thank you.